G'day and welcome to this week's video. My name is Robert Gowdy, I'm a financial advisor at Consortium Private Wealth. If you've found our videos uh, entertaining and valuable with some uh, good common sense advice, please subscribe to the channel and you'll get an alert when we do a new video. This week we're going to have a look at obviously, some of the outcomes from the uh, Royal Commission to Banking and Finance and, and Financial Planning for that matter um, and consider the uh, expenses that there's assumed and whether it's going to make it harder for people to get a home loan. So in recent years the majority of um, expenses that the uh, the banks have assumed for a family of four is uh, when assessing for a home loan to how much people can borrow or whether they'll get a home loan or not they've used the household expend, uh, expenditure measure and for a family of four um, that figure has been thirty two thousand four hundred dollars now it does exclude mortgage repayments or, or rent and also say holidays um, uh, those type of expenditures. So they've been using this for many years for probably you know, over 70% of loans that they've done over that time. Now this amount that they've made the assumption that a family of four living anywhere in Australia whether it's Sydney or Melbourne is actually less than uh, an age pension for a couple. So it's not very generous in terms of the amount of money they're assuming people are using. Um, and of course that has affected the amount of money that they will lend people and it's one thing over probably the last 20 years the amount of money that's been borrowed to people um, it's always blown my mind is how much they will lend people um, based on you know, relative their, to their incomes. So if you have that $32,400 in the back of your mind I've then gone on and uh, done some research and checked out you know the ABS um, stats on um, household expenditure. This was done in 15-16 uh, so we could probably all agree that expenditure is you know the cost of living has gone up since then um, but if I take out you can see above here these are weekly um, spends. Uh, we've got a couple with the kids between 5 and 14 and we've got a couple with the kids um, 15 and above. So what I've done, I've split out the, uh, the housing cost to give us an apples for apples uh, look at it. And you can see here that the actual figures are on average are substantially different to the $32,400. So really significantly different. So what will happen in the future if the banks have to take into account higher expenses? Um, you can see here we've got four different scenarios here based on four different um, outcomes you can see the red here and obviously the graphs not terribly clear but the the red there is the 32,400 that's the uh, that's the assumed expenditure and we've got in the blue uh, which is income which is 80 grand 100 grand 120 150 but let's look at a, a family of four uh, $80,000 household income in the past uh, using the 32,000 that is you know just under uh, $338,000 is the amount that they could borrow. If the banks now assume $50,000 spend which is absolutely quite realistic or even still conservative based on the previous figures we've looked at on that same income it's $195,000 that uh, you can borrow which is a 42% decrease in the amount um, that the bank will physically borrow you. So a huge uh, impact and you can pause here just to look at the other figures. These are significant reductions in, uh, in the amount that you can borrow. So this is going to have some consequences and, and what could they be? Well, you know, the banks are going to have to move to be you know, more responsible in the way that they lend to people. Um, there is a lot of mortgage stress out there. Um, we're seeing that in the stats that people are struggling with the, the debt load that they've currently got. So they're going to meet, need to be more responsible because they've got uh, APRA, ASIC uh, and the government breathing down their necks. The banks are going to have to change the way they um, assess um, a lender's expenses. So what will need to happen, and the third point here is lenders you know, will need to prove what their expenditure is. They will, there will be far more in-depth analysis of what people are spending on a weekly and monthly basis they more than likely may not choose just to make broad assumptions like they have done in the past. And what this will do is then reduce the amount uh, that people can borrow and in fact getting a loan will be harder. And I've noted recently that uh, people refinancing has had trouble um, 
up to 40% of people refinancing actually haven't been able to do so. So it means in the past, pre-Royal Commission, they were able to get a loan based on the, you know, the figures at the time, but in the new world, uh, the banks are actually knocking them back. And in turn, what's going to happen there is, well, you know, for this might be a broad brush approach, but I think it will continue to put uh, downward pressure on property valuations. So it's been my belief that it's been the availability of cheap and easy uh, credit um, from the banks ha have helped push up valuations over the last 20 years. So I think that'll put pressure and downward pressure on the, uh, the property market for some time to come. Thank you for listening. Um, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you disagree, make a comment. Happy to have a chat. And uh, we'll speak to you soon. We'll see you next week on the next video. Thanks for listening.